Trying to hog the mic, Smooth B. Big, 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 big chill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to handle like Mike, Mike, Michael Bivens, great? Yo, I, they call me the Michael Bivens of the groups. You know what I'm saying? Now, basically, how we got started, everything came from um, our gospel roots. Um, and but from the gospel roots, um, we all attended the same high school, which was um, Eastside High School, a famous high school from out of Patterson, New Jersey. Um, by us going to the school and basically knowing one another, um, we had an opportunity to form an uh, R&B group inside of Eastside High School. We was already a gospel group. Um, myself, um, Nitty, um, Smooth B, uh, along with um, Kenneth Kelly, may he rest in peace, and my brother Dwayne Jones at that time. Um, we had a chance to do some R&B singing with a, a gentleman by the name of Skip Van Rensselaer. And um, he basically took us away from the gospel. We still had it in us. We did gospel shows. But for the most part, we created a uh, high school group like you know because our idols at that time was like new edition for some d's um guy and all of them guys you know and we decided that we wanted to be just like them guys and hopefully have an opportunity but it was more so like on a on a play level never knew that it was gonna basically take off like it did for us you know so um with that being said i won't go into how we became riff the big you know group the r&b 1990 group but um as we go along, we we speak about that a little more. Michael Bivens in the house. Nah, now you can call me Big Time Smooth. Nah, uh, <laughs> um, it was. It was uh, fun for us. Uh, I remember sitting in, uh, I'm not going to say how long ago. I just remember sitting in, uh, <laughs> that is true. Because if we told you how long it was, you wouldn't even believe it. Because, like, he don't look like, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I was sitting in my class, and Mr. Clark comes in. Mr. Clark comes in, and uh, Morgan Freeman is behind him. Like, this is the guy that's going to be playing me in a movie. Like, that's Morgan Freeman. That's Spider-Man right there from Electric Company. But, I mean, it was it was big time for us because it was the first time that we uh, had uh, a whole bunch of cameras. We had producers. We had 80s. Everybody, you know, we had our own little room with some of the other, uh, with some of the principal actors, not the main ones. We went with Morgan and them, but, uh, you know. 
we had our own little clique and it was it was just a lot of fun it, it was just a lot of fun it really was go ahead add on to it he, he well, take my shot, so. no no what i want to say is um and uh, yeah yeah but uh, what i'm gonna say is that this day right here basically you know had everything to start in terms of um singing and learning the school song which was it was a mandatory thing for us because if he didn't um go and 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 learn it and and practice it which he was intimidated he was scared because he didn't want to do it by himself so like i said we had the gospel group so he went and got my my brother and myself and we came up with a rendition of the school song which which three part which was totally different at that time so by him doing that and us singing it we 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 gained notoriety notoriety within um the school to where people was like so mesmerized of of how we went about doing the song because it was always a particular type traditional way that it was being sung so by us coming from the church and everything we yeah we gave it we we gave it so with this dude you know creating that whole format in terms of riff and 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 us not the name riff but the playboys more so like just the whole foundation as far as you guys better do it or you better do it michael and him setting the whole you know foundation if it wasn't for him setting the foundation i don't think none of this stuff would have took place because it gave us an opportunity and when the opportunity came we became very popular within the school system from not only Eastside High School, but other schools throughout the city, you know, but this dude said, he, he basically set the tone to where we didn't have to do anything because of being so popular with that school song. So this dude, basically, yeah, he, it took off. And like Smooth was just saying a second ago, the audition, we didn't have to. We didn't have to do no type of audition. They 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 wrote us in the strip. Mr. Clark was like, uh, you know, uh, these guys do a great rendition of the school song, and I want a minute. And uh, somehow they just created a whole scene for us. And uh, y'all might not know it, but y'all see that scene? We probably did about 67, 80 takes of singing that song. We could have sung that song backwards that time if we wanted to from start to finish. We did, we did we did a lot of takes. Let me ask you something. Since you started from a, a church singing in church, did y'all catch any backlash from that? Because I know a lot of times when people singing, starting in church, and they go over here, you know, people feel a way about it. Well, I wouldn't say big backlash. Just just a little, you know, because they just yeah. thought we was going to forget about church and forget about this. But, I mean, you can never forget where you came from. So, I mean, once it's embedded in you, then, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. Because, I mean, we went out. We were blessed to go out on the road. We did tours and the whole nine. And, you know, when we came back, we still back in church, you know. No, no, no. I was just listening. I was just, like, being taken back to all of that, man. It's just crazy. It's crazy to hear. Did it go to, from zero to 100 that quick? This, oh, this yeah. Going yeah, it, it definitely, did. Definitely. After the movie, uh, there was uh, three people that I'm not going to mention, but they formed a production company, and immediately, <laughs> it was like, I want to sign you to my label. <laughs> and they straight up Big signed man. us to this <laughs> production company, flew us out to L.A., and we did our album, our first album. How long? And, uh, it took us 10 days to cut ten cut days. the song. We caught three top 10 hits off of that album. We toured with uh, Vanilla Ice. Uh, LL Cool J. LL Cool J, the mama said knock you out to him. We was on the club scene. We was just smashing them up and down the road. Boys of Men and so to see and High Five and Ex-Girlfriend. We was all on the road like having a ball, man. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. Will Smith, nice. oh yeah, we, Queen we, Latifah. We, uh, it was, it was, yeah. Awesome Being that y'all, y'all started back in the day, and y'all still, for me, y'all still relevant now. How do you feel about where music is versus where it was then? Uh -oh. the music, music has changed, <laughs> and um, I think now you kind of lost something. You know, you don't, you don't have the passion. Like back in the day, 
he was real singing. It really was. Like, you had to sing. It wasn't auto tune. That's right. You had to get in there and you had to rehearse and know your stuff, know your parts, and you had to <clears> sing. <throat> like, these guys, we, we sing. Right. Like, we sing on the spot, don't matter when, don't matter with whom. You know, we, 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 we'll hold hours. And that's not knocking anybody else for what they do. But it's you different. You should be able to do that. But it's and different. You can sing, you can sing. Because, you know, we come from, I'm, I'm the youngest in the group, but I got an old soul. So we yeah. come from that era of listening to the real singers. You know what I mean? And then you got them in, in the nineties with, you know, Mr. Ooh Yeah himself. You know, Joe the scene. Mr. Ooh Yeah. And, 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 you know, they, they come up with High Five and Teddy Riley's and Chauncey's from Black Street. Like these guys were doing it. And they would do it, but everybody in that era was singing. Now you got everybody just, you know, putting an effect on their voice. You know what you're saying? That's right, because if they come to concerts, they will tell it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, like you still got, don't get me wrong, you still got some dope artists. Like, you, yeah, got, you know, you got your ushers that'll tear you up on stage. And Absolutely. And Chris Browns that can get it, and Beyonce, you know, the queen, and, and whatnot. You got, like, real artists, like, current artists are doing it. That's but true. music is overall, like, by and large, it's, it's different. It's not like it used to be. Because yeah, it used yeah. to be, if you couldn't sing, then the group that came before you or after would sing you right off the stage. Right, right off the stage. Yeah. Wow, sure. that quick. Sure. Did y'all have a lot of competition? Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of right there was there was groups, groups oh, but they know there was groups coming out about a week. Everybody had to have a group. You know what I mean? Exactly. Every record company was signing groups. You know what I mean? After that, that ninety boy band, as far as like on the R and B side, started coming back strong with Boys and Men and right. Joe C and Rick was in there. You had High Five Troop, like oh, everybody, yeah. like everybody had to have one. You know yeah. what I mean? But there was some that like stood out as like those real dudes. Like we all we always got the credit of like we never really had like the number ones. We we actually had one number one was cross seas. But we were still those dudes where like when we walked into a building, we shut it down. It was like, yo, those are dudes that that sang that song in the movie right there. <laughs> those are the dudes right there. And these dudes can really sing. So we all we always caught the respect of that. And at our stage show, like people couldn't believe how good we were, like the way we performed. So we always caught that luck. Like, yo, you put them on stage, they they pretty much gonna represent. Are y'all doing anything now? Right right now we're just recording some material. And um you know, we're releasing it like slowly just to see what catch because right now again like music has changed a lot so mm-hmm. you're kind of like doing uh your music independently yeah so I you have to oh, yeah. you have to def you have to definitely like back in the day there was no social media right. you know what i mean so like right now there's some things like we have to learn how to perfect <laughs> in this day and age you know what i mean because everything moves so quickly really everything is quick mm-hmm. like you gotta be on it like you gotta post like four or five pictures a day on instagram and you facebook so right. you gotta stay with the time twitter you gotta i hate it but like it's 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 too it's this is the days this is the time that we're living in now so we gotta learn it and everybody's trying to jump on it now and now, would you say back in the day it. was more of a word of mouth than all the social media? Well, because that's what makes it happen back then, being that we didn't have all the stuff that we have now. It was definitely, well, back then it was a bigger machine, like yeah. record companies and publicists, and they had stuff outlined as far as how they wanted to get you out there, you know what I mean? So they had a publicist that would get you on all these TV shows and Strategy. stopping by the radio station. Like, that was our way in. Now, it's different. You can just put your stuff on the internet mm-hmm. and it's going. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you have to From promote it, stay on okay. it, stay on it, promote it. Because if people don't know, they don't know. But exactly. you have to make that traffic come to you. So it's, it's pretty much a self-contained thing now, man. You got to just create that buzz around yourself and then when you become hot enough again on the net then that's when them big big guys start looking at you again so yeah you know we just got to stay true to what we're doing as far as our music that's it and, and keep and putting out great other. music yeah. and if it's meant it's gonna happen oh, it's gonna happen. oh yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> 
We all right. Yeah, I feel like I never left. I mean, we've been staying busy and um, mm-hmm. doing writing and some producing and working with with a younger talent and always just trying to find a way to recreate our situation, ourselves, and staying in the mix of things. So, you know, we, we love to sing. So, you know, we get around each other, iron sharpens iron. We get together and we start harmonizing. And that's a lost art, you know, it is. people these days they want songs with just um, a lead vocal on it. And the background is a lead vocal on it. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it, get, it gets annoying, but I, I do like the way that um, the artistry of people, um, even though they dumbing down the music, right. they find in a way to make it catch and to make it pop. But, um, you know, it's nothing better than when the brothers get together, you know, and, mm-hmm. and, and, and start sounding like a, a human chord. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that, to me, it feels spiritual, so that's, that's cool. what I'm about. Keep my love. Uh, uh, as call. a group, are y'all on Facebook and, and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. What's your social, um, social media? Riff Sounds, everything. All right, F- F- I so got the call. Yes, no. Riff Sounds, everything. Riff Sounds, Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, uh, Facebook. Anything else? Yes, sir. Uh, YouTube. Oh, yeah, YouTube as well, sir. So. Twitter. I said it. You said it. You said face. You said the book. I said the book. You said the book. I said the book. Okay. Yeah. What about glitter? We got perfect ten. <laughs> <laughs> you keep the glitter. We got sorry. We got holiday crush. We got a few videos that we've done in the last um, what, year, year, year and a half, sure maybe. Put, put them up. Oh yeah, they're, they're on uh, YouTube. So, so um, in closing this interview, can y'all hit me a little something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm about to go the boom, the boom. <laughs> That's the end of the show. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take you back to well, you know what got us started. How about that? How about that? How much of it we gonna do? Good? A little bit, a little bit, good. Heartbeat, you ready? Ah, yeah, I like that. <clears throat> Y'all ready? Yeah, I'm always ready. Fairy. I'm going to hold that again. I had the little flim right there. You like to get Kenny. He lied. He said he was ready. He wasn't ready. He ready. Is that the right note? That's right note. I think so. That's not high. I don't know. I don't have down. Fairy. That's low. How you doing? Come on. Fairy. Fairy. That's what we go through. I love it. Yeah. By thy side we'll stay and always praise thy name. Praise thy name, praise thy name. To ever yeah. lend our hearts and hands to help increase thy fame. Ooh, so cheer for dear old Sally on to victory. Ooh. I want it. That's oh, what I'm talking oh, about. Boy. You don't hear a lot of this no more, y'all. Well, make sure y'all stay tuned to find out what's going on with these guys right here because that was beautiful. I know y'all coming. And I thank y'all for being patient and, and being here. And I really hope y'all come back for real. That was beautiful. I feel, I, y'all don't even understand what's happening. Do y'all validate parking? That was really, that was, that was on point. For real. That really was. Y'all really sound nice. Thank you. This is Riff, y'all. Stay tuned. Deuces. Rip sound, baby. Now, right now. Yes. Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Selena Joe, up in the house with my BME family. We had a hell of a show today. We had 
Norm Adams, we had Julia Robinson, we had Riff, and of course we got the VME family in the house. And shout out to them, we got Big Man Kwasi, we got Miss Coco, Elaine Pay, we got our assistant Sherelle, we got uh, Robin Dizzy, and we got no other than Cool KG up in the house. Y'all stick with us y'all, go on YouTube, subscribe to the show. We need some more people. Tell a friend, tell a friend, and let you know, tell another friend. Pass the word around because we coming and we coming strong. Thank y'all for your support. We love you. And we looking forward to seeing y'all on the next go round. Mad peace to you. Mwah! Deuces. This is how we do. <laughs> What's up with you? Where you going? I'm going out. Out where? You don't work today. I'm going out with my friends. Come here. Mubs got beat. Damn. Beat. What is going on? I just gotta know. If you cheating, you should let me know. Mm -hmm. If you grieving, you should let me know. Mm -hmm. I ain't with the games you on your own. On your if you messing around, then let me go. Let me Just let me know, let me know, let me know. Just let me know, let me know, let me know. I ain't with the games. I'm done with all the pain. And I don't wanna go down this road again. If you cheating, then just say the word I don't need my feelings hurt Somehow I feel like you changed And I don't wanna feel that pain Previous relationships And I always ended up play You said you was different So I'm always praying that you stay I just need to talk to you I just need a second I just need you to tell me Why you acting different I can't take it, I'm tired of waiting I'm impatient You not being here has got me so frustrated I don't wanna walk the same path That I once walked before This is a big step And I don't wanna close the door I just need you by my side When I'm alone late at night If you cheating, you should let me know if you creeping, you should let me know mm -hmm. I ain't with the games, you on your own on your If you messing around, then let me go let me Just go. let me know, let me know, let me know Just let me know, let me know, let me know I ain't with the games, I'm done with all the pain And I don't wanna go down this road again Say it ain't so, say it ain't so, baby I can't even sleep, I feel I'ma go crazy Feelings are way too strong But the way you acting, I feel nothing at all I got nothing but love for you, I put my trust in you The way that you been moving got me thinking there's another you Since day one, I've been by your side You say that you'll be down to ride but these tears in my eyes got me thinking otherwise So if you cheating, let me know So the first word is one that's been used for ages It's called gnarly like gnarly bro. Gnarly yeah, but what does waves. it mean? Yeah, okay. You like use sick? It, What's sick mean? Like awesome? 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 Warm it up. One, two. Yeah! Strip professional, live by the room, keep the heat next to you. I've seen the best of dudes technolize from what the tech could do. Partial smart, should have brought guns instead of martial arts. Come to war, hit you at night, the light opposes dark. Most of y'all don't get the picture till it's finally drawn. Mess and bugs, get to your mug, bullets collapse your heart. Pop a perk, hit where it hurts, I'll make your body jerk. Listen up, we can ash, chicken, time to lift up his hurt. Snitches talk, but only real ones, never expose the tongue. Riding with my wolves, getting money ever since they won. Made men started 
it from nothing, gotta perfect it I know loyalty, so when I'm amongst it, I do respect it Call me a tech smith, I shine like diamonds on a necklace I stay well dressed, cause I be moving on exact shit Could care less about these haters, I'm trying to be some gamers But it's hard when you find out they be releasing statements All my niggas getting big money like me Pulling up in all big trucks like me BBM and Wu fam, they be like I'm the off payment, we ain't related So you don't know the hell that I was raised in I like the caveman, but never let my chest cave in I could blame it, but fuck it, it made me amazing I'm at the days and with a money machine Triple beam, three bricks, letting it whip Plotting my next scheme, though ferocious I'm so focused, I hope it go quick Cause after this, I'ma be on some fat joke This nigga lean back, chilling one of my mansions Counting on my advances, appreciating my chances Benjamin Canvas is putting out music with my scramblers, distribution is crucial Head to Alabama, man, I warm like the Taliban Salute to all my selling friends Fuck huh? all you haters who thought we would never make it You playing uh, with one of the illest no, Who was the trillers? They move like a realist So fuck them, we feeling official real All my niggas getting big money like Pulling up in all big trucks like BBM and Wu fam, they be like What they say? They be like All my niggas getting big money like Crews from New York to Cali, even up in the middle. So here we go, another episode for the culture with your hostess Nene J on the sofa, bringing you closer. So just stay focused. Every Monday, 10 p.m. and you know this. So grab a chair, you got a front row seat to the hottest video show in NYC. Be on me TV. You now tune into the best. Keep it locked, big man. Hold it down for the set. Yes. Big man entertainment. You know what time it is. Big man entertainment. You know what time it is. Big man entertainment. You know what time it is. Big man entertainment.